Saturday is retired with that too. Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hey, why do you think I'm selling tools? Yes. <laughs> Every time the lawn cutting people go by, I point at them. Stop. <laughs> well, have a good day. Have a good day. Bye bye. I just want to get this. Ma'am. This little bracelet. Okay, you can have it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good luck. The box. That first sale. So the first sale, I ended up getting this Hello Kitty, this little Hello Kitty, uh, like a little charm bracelet, kind of like it's got the little kitty hello kitty on there with some pink little some pink little flowers and I asked how much she what it was and she was like oh you can just have it <laughs> so I was really appreciative of that but I don't know if you guys heard in the background um, while I was looking around I guess there was a box that I didn't get to you know fast enough and some lady was digging through like a whole like box like this size of a box of jewelry <laughs> I don't think it was full though and she was like um oh you can have the whole box for a dollar and i was like oh i was just like cringing inside like oh my gosh why didn't i get over there sooner but um i don't know there might have been some good stuff in there but it could have all been junk who knows but i like to think it was probably just all junk right <laughs> i didn't miss out on anything good it was all junk so that's what i tell myself so that i can get over that <laughs> so um yeah, that's uh, all I got at the first sale. Whoa. Whoa. Hi. Hi. Thank you. 
Oh, they're just bags. Okay, so at that one sale, the only thing I ended up picking up was this Stella and Dot candle. And it's brand new. It smells nice. I paid a dollar for it. And it is it is fig and white tea. And it says Stella and Dot Delight. So, yeah, that's the only thing I got at that sale. So, on to the next one. How much is this blue bell ice cream thing? I'm not oh. going to pay no dollar for that. You're going to pay a dollar for it? I'll give it to you. <laughs> I'm not going to take any change. Why? Huh? I just, that's it. Everything, nothing less than a dollar. How much is your jewelry? Too much of pain to deal with change. Uh, Two dollars for any piece you want.
She didn't want the coffee cup? No, she wouldn't go lower than a buck. I was trying to give her two for a buck. Oh, I thought you said she could have it. I, th and I told her she could have it. She didn't want to. I guess she felt bad. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with any change. Right. Uh, How much is your three hole punch? You can have it for a dollar. It works. I have three of them. That's why. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'll take it. This is the one that's left over. <laughs> It's amazing when you're selling your house and you clean it up. How many duplicates? Triplicates of things you find. Right. That you didn't know you had. Where are you moving to? Uh, we bought a new house over off of Highway 6. Oh, okay. Uh, down between Alvin and Manville. Oh, okay. Downsized into a one story. So we've got our boys there. Grown. That'd be nice. That's a good feeling. Have them gainfully employed. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> okay, so then you say, okay, call us before it's done. Yes. All right, thanks. Good luck to you. Thank you. been busy this morning? We have. It was a rush oh, earlier. I think people thought it was going to rain. We did oh, too, yeah. but it didn't. So. Right? It's just humid as heck. I think it's going to rain this afternoon. Yeah, it's been looking like it all morning. Yes. Thank you. Have a great day. So then, like a dollar? Yeah. Um, no, it's okay. I have so many, okay. but they are yeah, beautiful. No, they are <laughs> Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Is your little car for sale here? Yes, ma'am. And how much is that? How much for the car? Yeah, where's that? Oh. Mommy, how much for the car? Eight. Eight dollars. Thank you. All right, have a good one. You too. Okay, so at that garage sale, I got some little uh, plush. They were 50 cents each. It's a little... Uh, Panda Bear, and this one is the Attic Treasures Collection. They're like the Thai Beanie Babies. So he's really cute. He'll go up on eBay. And then here is a little bear, a little pumpkin one. This one is uh, was originally marked nine, I think nine ninety nine. Yeah, so it's still new with the tags. And so I'm going to use this one as part of the. Um, Okay, so I'm going to participate in this challenge. It's going to be a Halloween thrift haul and um, Nesting Haven here on YouTube. She is um, doing this and it's going to be like a big collaboration and there's going to be like a big playlist. <laughs> so I don't know all the details uh, just yet, but I'm excited, super excited to participate and um, 
yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's all I got at that film. Hey everybody, it is Tanya. So today I thought it would be fun to go through a couple packages that some of you guys have sent me. So this one here, I just got this in the mail the other day. This is actually from uh, Red Neckerson Resales here on YouTube. This is from Nathan. So he was watching Lily on um, Lily's Lovely Auctions, uh, Lily's Lovely Lots. Now, this is something that my friend Michael, the Roland Picker here on YouTube does with his granddaughter. And she actually comes on usually on Friday evenings and she sells some jewelry. So her name's Lily and she is absolutely adorable. So <clears throat> here is what Nathan bought me and Angie, my friend at So Get This here on YouTube, sent it to me. Now Angie is um, my friend Mike's son, Michael's, did I say son? I meant daughter. Goodness gracious, what is the matter with me? So this really pretty butterfly necklace. Thank you so much, Nathan, if you happen to be watching. I definitely need to shoot you a message and tell you thank you as well. That was very thoughtful of you. You guys know I love butterflies. So I actually raise butterflies. The monarch ones. So really pretty butterfly necklace. I love it. So thank you, Nathan. I really appreciate it. The next lot is from my friend Renee. She just sent this, actually priority mail. So I wanted to hurry up and open it for her. Um, I don't know if she knows I plan to open it on my channel or not, but this is the bag she sent. So it's full of goodies. So I'm gonna open it and we're gonna see what's inside. Oh, I love this stretchy bracelet. A lot of people don't like stretchy bracelets, but I love them. So, love those colors too. They're really pretty. I saw there were a couple Christmas brooches as well. So, this one's just a little stocking. And, oh my goodness, how fun. Here's one that says Joy. This one looks like it might have a mark on it. Uh, I think it says S or something. I can't make it out. S. Oh, well, I don't know. It says S something. <laughs> so a little Christmas one that says joy. I thought I saw a couple, yeah. And here's another one. How cute is this little penguin? With a Santa Claus hat. Adorable. So we got three of them. Let's see if there's any more Christmas ones. Oh, here's some little Christmas earrings. How cute are those? Oh, I love those. This looks like a little Christmas uh, stretchy bracelet as well with a little reindeer charm. Actually looks like Rudolph there with a little red nose. Hopefully we'll find the match for this one. This is a really, <clears throat> really good condition. Uh, vintage flower brooch, probably from the 60s. Love those colors. It's just like metal. And I guess like enamel too. Metal enamel. Really pretty. And then here is just like a little cuff style, cuff style watch. 
Oh, here's another Christmas one. This could be Christmas, definitely. An angel with wings, and she's holding a star. It's kind of got some glitter on it, really iridescent looking to, to it. A brooch. Very pretty. These, this pair of earring actually looks like a sterling silver pair I just listed yesterday in my eBay store. And also, I was going to let you guys know if you want to check out my eBay store, my user ID is Couture Adore. And also, the link for my store is down in the description box. So, these are really pretty. I like these. And they're, what I really like best about them is they're lightweight. So, love the lightweight earrings. I'm loving this stuff, Renee. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you to send me this stuff. Um, these almost look like, these remind me of a peacock. The colors. Hopefully I'll be able to find the matching one here in a minute. Here is another Christmas brooch. This one is like a candle. It's got uh, like a red little flame up here. Get the back. Oh, this one, I thought this was a stretchy bracelet at first, but I think it must be a necklace with a leather cord. If I can get all this stuff untangled. Okay, that is really pretty. I love the purple and the white together. And then it's got this toggle clasp here. Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. Oh, this is really pretty, like iridescent. Almost looks like abalone, abalone shell. Some people say abalone. I say abalone. This is a nice one, too. Kind of a Southwest vibe to it. Oh. And here's the matching one. Nice. Oh, I love those. And here is some little pink, pink simple bead earrings. I like the little bitty dangles as well. Oh, this one must have originally been like an earring. But on my other one, it's missing. But that would be easy to fix. Here's a nice pendant. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Oh. I believe it's a Bible verse. It says Josh, Joshua, maybe 1, 4, chapter, four, chapter 1, verse 4, maybe. And I am not going to be untangling this stuff right now, you guys, because you guys know I do not like to sit and untangle stuff. I know that a lot of you do. A lot of you tell me that it is relaxing for you. And um, I am not one of those people. <laughs> this, this right here stresses me out. <laughs> so I am uh, not very patient when it comes to untangling. Ooh, now I love these. They're so pretty. They kind of remind me of Kendra Scott earrings. Um, if you guys don't know who Kendra Scott is, uh, she's a designer here from Texas. I think a lot of her jewelry is only sold down here in the south as well because I did a video on my other channel it's called let's go Tanya 
here on YouTube and I did a video on Kendra Scott and a lot of you guys um, had made mention that you had never even heard of her before. But yeah, down in the South, she's very popular. I love these, I'm totally gonna wear these. I love, and I always have, I love the gold and the silver two-tone together at the same time. I love to wear that. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing some right now. I'm gonna have to take one off and show you guys. So I love the two-tone jewelry. Because, see, I wear uh, gold and silver at the same time on my fingers with my rings. So here are the earrings I'm wearing today. I just took one out. So yeah, gold and silver. Put that back in real quick. But yeah, I told Renee, or she told me that she was sending me a package and I told her, oh gosh, thank you. And she's like, yeah, if you want my junk. But you know what? One person's junk is another person's treasure. So here is a really <clears throat> fancy a uh, stretchy ring. These are really pretty too. Let's see. Oh, okay, at the top it's got like a pink stone and then at the bottom one has like a brown stone. And here's the match. What do we have here? It is definitely a brooch, like a little lantern light of sorts. Let's see. Turn it on. And maybe it needs like a little battery or something. But that looks fun. Brooch. Oh, how cute is this key ring? This cute little kitty cat. And the back looks like maybe it is a digital uh, little clock or something. It says Lucky right down here at the bottom. And I think it also needs a new battery. But that is adorable. Okay, what do we have next? It is a gorgeous snowflake charm bracelet with some pearls and some clear beads. This is gorgeous. And it looks like it is marked. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's Avon. Very nice. So I would definitely call this Christmas as well. Very pretty. A lot of people love charm bracelets and all the noise they make. Gorgeous Avon piece. Um, here is another pair of lightweight simple earrings, the paparazzi. You guys know the deal with the paparazzi jewelry. I believe they sell everything for $5. So, oh, another pair of earrings. These looks like some kind of um, stone here. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's like howlite or something. I know that some of you had said about this uh, turquoise necklace that I showed you guys not too long ago. <clears throat> My last time I showed you guys some jewelry, uh, someone had mentioned that they might be dyed howlite. And I think they were because the beads, some of them were peeling, but these are really nice. I love the setting too on that silver. So there's lots of earrings in here too. Oh, and I really like these copper ones. I bet you these are paparazzi also.
almost like a rose gold copper color. Let's see. Oh, these are nice. A pair of earrings. A little black stone. Let's see if we have a match. Now, a lot of this stuff that she sent that's falling apart, like for example, some of these green beads like this. There's several of these in there, and I'm gonna keep these because I can craft with these. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make yet, but I know that I'll definitely be able to use them to make something. Oh, and there's also, wait, are these green also? Okay, these are also green. Okay, so now I'm just seeing what earrings are left in here. Oh, here's the other match for this one. Let me see if I can figure out how they work. Oh, okay. Oh, those are pretty. They're definitely like, remind me of like peacock colors. All right, well, I'll put that one down. He doesn't want to cooperate, but look how pretty. The blues and the turquoise then the light colored ones and the purple, very pretty. Love these, super lightweight, almost like little leaves with veins running through. another uh, blingy stretchy ring a little statement ring that's really pretty I like that so I posted yesterday in my jewelry group um, if you guys don't know I have a jewelry group on Facebook it's called thrifty jewelry treasures thrifty jewelry treasures yeah and um, we'd love to have you come join over there. But I did post over there that um, what's going to be... Oh, look, we found the other one. Hopefully this is the other one and not the same one. <laughs> uh, oh, this one's pretty. Look at that one. But I did post over there uh, fall trends for jewelry. And one of them is going to be uh, the bigger the better. So really big like um, earrings and statement jewelry. So all the blingy stuff is gonna be on trend this fall. So, oh, this is really fun. Look at these little orange light bulb, little Christmas light bulbs. Those are adorable. And I love these little blue ball ones. Oopsie. They're really shiny. I like those. I might have to keep these too. They're really pretty. Ooh, I found a match. So here's some little green ornament earrings. Lots of Christmas stuff in here, Renee. Thank you so much. So nice of you to share your uh your discards with me so yeah if anybody wants to send me jewelry i'll take it <laughs> but yeah i think that might be about it um like i said there's lots of loose pieces in here that i will end up using for crafting and little balls and pearl balls. So lots of fun stuff. So thank you so much, Renee. I really appreciate you sharing your jewelry with me. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscri bleh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.